ladies and gentlemen, it's good to be together. We represent uh, those from cadets, those from the RF Association, those from Bexley Council, and uh, Representative DL, thank you for being here today as well. We come representing the people of our community on the 15th of September, the day that is viewed as Battle of Britain Day, the day that turned the tide of that particular battle in 1940. We should have been doing the 80th celebration last year, but we're here 81 years on to remember. We meet in the presence of God. We commit ourselves to work in penitence and faith for reconciliation between the nations, that all people may together live in freedom, justice and peace. We pray for all who in bereavement, disability and pain continue to suffer the consequences of fighting and terror. We remember with thanksgiving and sorrow those whose lives in world wars and conflicts past and present have been given and taken away. And so in prayer. Father God, we remember all the people of Bexley who died during the Blitz. Father God, as we stand together, we commit to your loving care all those whose service within the military and also civilian services helped the population in our communities around us to keep, to keep going through the darkest years. Father God, we give thanks for the freedoms won for the many by the few. Help us to continue to desire peace for all nations of the earth. And so we come to a time of silence, but as it's Battle of Britain Day, we don't use the usual commendation, we use the RAF Association dedication. In friendship and in service, one to another, we are pledged to keep alive the memory of those of all nations who died in the Royal Air Force and in the Air Forces of the Commonwealth. In their name, we give ourselves to this noble cause. Proudly and thankfully, we will remember them. And I invite the Worshipful, the Mayor of Bexley Councillor James Hunt, to lay a wreath as our first citizen on behalf of Bexley. And 
on behalf of the RF Association and our cadets, Benjamin Hank. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, we gave our today. O God of truth and justice, we hold before you those whose memory we cherish and those whose names we will never know. Help us to lift our eyes above the torment of this broken world and grant us the grace to pray for those who wish us harm. As we honour the past, may we put our faith in your future, for you are the source of life and hope, now and forever. Amen. God grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the Church, the Queen, the Commonwealth, Bexley and all people, unity, peace and concord, and to us and all of God's servants, life everlasting, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, be with us and remain with us always. Amen. <laughs>